One of the best uses of AI, in my opinion, is using it as a brainstorm partner. You can give it a roll, if you like, or just fire up a session and go. Let's run through a quick example. Help me come up with some ideas of what to do for a birthday party for a five-year-old. Give me options for indoor and outdoor activities. Indoor activities. One, arts and crafts station. Set up tables with various craft supplies like crayons, markers, markers, paper, stickers, and glue. Kids can make their own masterpieces to take home. Two, DIY cupcake decorating. Bake cupcakes in advance and provide icing, sprinkles, and other edible decorations. The idea here is to continue brainstorming with the AI, asking about any particular options it suggests, asking it to list pros and cons, or introducing new ideas until you arrive at the best options for you. Like this. I like the idea of a bouncy castle. Please list the pros and cons. Please elaborate on point four. Are there any statistics about accidents? Suggest ways to make this option as safe as possible. Please create an action list for me to follow when it comes to hiring a bouncy castle. Include things I should ask for. Pros and cons of renting a bouncy castle. Pros. One, entertainment value. Uh, provides hours of fun and excitement for children. Keeps kids active and engaged. Two, themed options. Bouncy castles come in various themes and designs to match party themes. Three, physical activity. Encourages physical activity and helps kids burn off energy. Four, social interaction. Promotes social interaction as children play together and cooperate. Cons, one, one, cost. Can be expensive to rent depending on the size and duration. Two, space requirements. Requires ample outdoor space for setup. Three, weather dependent. Outdoor bouncy castles are dependent on good weather. Four, safety concerns. Risk of injuries such as falls, collisions, and entrapment. Elaborating on safety concerns. Statistics on accidents. According to a study by the Center for Injury Research and Policy, more than 30 children a day are treated in emergency departments in the United States for injuries related to inflatable bouncers. Common injuries include fractures, sprains, and strains, primarily affecting the arms and legs. Most injuries occur when children fall inside or out of the bouncy castle, collide with one another, or are improperly supervised. Making bouncy castles safe. Ways to enhance safety. One, supervision. Always have an adult supervising the bouncy castle at all times. Two, age and size restrictions. Enforce age and size restrictions to prevent injuries from older, larger children overpowering younger, smaller ones. Three, limit the number of children. Follow the manufacturer's guidelines on the maximum number of children allowed at one time. Four, secure anchoring. Ensure the bouncy castle is securely anchored to prevent it from tipping or blowing away. Five, safety rules. Establish and enforce safety rules such as no flipping, no pushing, and no climbing on the walls. Six, regular inspections. Inspect the bouncy castle regularly for any signs of wear and tear or damage. Seven, weather considerations. Avoid using the bouncy castle in bad weather conditions such as high winds or rain. Action list for hiring a bouncy castle. One, research rental companies. Look for reputable companies with good reviews and a solid safety record. Check if they are licensed and insured. Questions to ask rental companies. What safety measures do you have in place? Are your bouncy castles regularly inspected and maintained? Do you provide setup and takedown services? What are the age and weight limits for your bouncy castles? Do you offer supervision services or guidelines for safe use? Three, verify insurance and licensing. Ensure the company has proper insurance coverage for accidents and injuries. That was a short brainstorming session but you can see how you can apply this to just about any area of your life. You can also flip the idea of instructing the AI on its head and get the AI to ask you questions so you gain clarity. I want to start an online business. Ask me questions to figure out some good options for me. That sounds like an exciting venture. To help you figure out some good options for your online business, I'll need to ask you a series of questions to understand your interests, skills, resources, and goals. Here we go. One, interests and passion. What are you passionate about or what hobbies do you enjoy? Are there any industries or niches that particularly interest you? Two, skills and expertise. 
What skills or expertise do you currently have? Do you have experience in any specific field or industry? Once you answer all the questions the AI throws at you and it comes up with your best potential options, you can go into brainstorm mode and explore the options, asking the AI to list pros and cons, do cost projections, and even do risk assessment for each option. The deeper you go, the better insights you're going to get. As you feed back to the AI and even share your thoughts with it, it learns more about you and it will adjust the outputs accordingly. Remember that everything you tell the AI is context and it can use that context to calibrate its output. And of course, you can also take a more proactive role and introduce your own ideas, then ask the AI to assess those for you. It's pretty amazing.